Hello. In this next video, we're going to run through using Workflow Plus on your Realware HMT device. Start at the home page with My Programs. And as you move your head left to right, you'll see that Workflow Plus will have been downloaded onto your HMT previously. We go through the setup on Workflow Plus on your HMTs in another video. So this one, let's start with the workflow straight away. And you just say the word you see in front of you. Workflow Plus. Here we have the home page, the home dashboard on Workflow Plus, and I'll talk you through the different controls that you see here for you. Show settings. This shows your account and the team that you're currently connected to. You, Because you have your own license, you could sign out of this account on your HMT and sign into another account. Uh, and you can then also use the HMT for other people. You can pass who have also got a Workflow Plus license. That the workflows that you can run are all allocated to that particular team name or that account. So these are all sitting under IW Field Services. Navigate back. You can see there is a request help function, which is your remote expert solution. And I will demonstrate that as we go through the workflows. It's integrated into the workflow and into the software. Job history. This allows you to see jobs that you've completed or jobs that you may have abandoned. So as you go through these, you can actually pick up and restart the job or you can download the report on it just if you needed to see it again. But the report would automatically have been generated and an action can be set to actually send that report onwards without you ever having to do anything with it. Next page. Next page. Next page. Select item two. On this one, you'll see it's been an abandoned job full report isn't created for any abandoned jobs. So just bear that in mind when you're progressing this. You can restart this job. Uh, it will pick you up to the point that you abandoned it and then you can continue that job. And then a completed job would have a formal um, PDF report completed. All the step data will be completed for it, just not a formal PDF report, which needs to be for a completed job. Navigate back. Navigate back. Show jobs. So these are all the jobs I've got currently underway. You can see that they're paused. Um, if I select one of those, I can continue that job and pick it up from where I left it. Select item one. Transfer job. So I can also send that onto a colleague of mine. And if I was to send that job to, uh, to Alana or to Henry or to Ian, then that will leave my job schedule and it will go into theirs but one single report is always completed no matter how many people that might have been transferred to navigate back navigate back navigate back so as you can hear it's very clear on this voice activation it will help you all the way through it completely hands-free show schedule these are jobs that have been allocated to me so they're in my daily or my weekly uh, diary of things that I need to do. If they're priority jobs, you'll see there's a little uh, orange uh, dot next to it. If I've missed the date and the time point I'm supposed to start the job, then I'll have an overdue indication on there. Navigate back. I can also start a job by scanning a QR code. So sometimes your administrator may design the workflows to be allocated to a QR code or a barcode which means you don't have to go into show jobs. You don't have to go into new job to look for the job. You would simply say the words scan code and then pull over a barcode. And as you can see, I've just scanned that barcode and it starts the job automatically from it. So if there are large facilities where you've got a lot of different jobs to do, that might be part of your process is simply to be scanning barcodes and it will, it will start the relevant job for you. Let's start the job on that because that's a good one to demonstrate. Start job, start job. Here's my full description of everything I'm due to see. You can see there's some extra text not quite on the page because of the form factor of that you're being presented. I'll just say the words full description page down and it will show me what I need to see. If you forget the voice commands, just simply say show help and it'll tell you what to say as your voice controls running through each workflow. Hide help, navigate back, next step. 
So then you get off offered with different input steps or action steps. So this is going to be a selection step where I'm going to pick items to say which floor, which location I'm at. Show items, select item one, floor two. So you can see there, I can either say the description that I see or say select the, the item number. Confirm selection. And again, my, I'm giving decision steps here. So the flexibility that you have in the software is to be able to take action based on what you see happening in front of you. So if your decision is yes, it'll take you down one set of actions. If it's no, it'll take you on to a next another step. So let's just see that in operation. Let's say that everything isn't very well, isn't all well lit and we need to take some action. So let's say no. And I can either open the keyboard or I can open the dictation module here. Let's do the dictation module. Dictation. Some of the lights are broken. Restart. Some of the lights are broken and need replacing. Accept. So as you can see, I can go back and I can restart what I've taken. Um, I can re-record uh, things. You need to do it as a continuous uh, statement or st sentences rather than have a pause because the bike microphone will think that you've finished recording but it's very quick to capture your 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 voice and to convert it into text now I'm going to take a photo so I'll just say capture photo take photo view photos so this allows you the opportunity to go and take more photos from the same one or to delete the one that you've taken if you feel you, you know there's a better one that you've now taken and that and that you've made a mistake on that one. If not, just say navigate back. Next step. Show items. Now, if at this point here I'm not sure quite how to rate it, it doesn't seem like to fit any one of these different ratings, and I want a bit of guidance on it. I want to show somebody what I'm looking at. If I just say navigate back and then say request help. This is now opening up my remote expert solution that's been switched on and integrated inside the workflow. I can then call any one of my colleagues there and they can then see through my camera. It'll open up the, uh, the two-way communication so we can talk together as well. They can guide you through uh, completing whatever it is that you need, any help that you need. As I'm continuing to talk here, it's just pause the workflow. You don't need to remember where you were at or open up another app and close another app. I simply say the words, navigate back. And I'm back in the workflow where I left it last time. It's integrated inside Workflow Plus. Show items. Select item three. Confirm selection. Full description. Anytime you see a few little dots and there's a little bit of text missing, it's just because of the form factor. You just say full description. You can say page up or down if there's more text and it'll talk, it'll show you everything you need to see. Navigate back. Yes. No. Previous step. So I made a mistake on that. I want to change my input. So I'm now going to say yes. So it's asking me just to tell me why I've made that change. So if I just say, um, select item one, and then say dictation, I made a small mistake, accept, okay. The same again, but opening up dictation, I could have changed what I was saying in there. I could do a longer sentence. You can re-record it and then it will keep that in the report for you to search to show why you went back and made a change. Show items. Select item one. Confirm selection. And I've got videos that can be attached into this. So before I open the videos, I want to see a bit more. So I'll just say again, full description. Navigate back. View video two. And I can use all the voice controls here to uh, video pause. And that will stay, even though I'm moving my head around, it is staying exactly in my eye line. So it helps me from a hands-free perspective, not to have to turn to a reference document or a manual when I'm in an area where I can't get 
access to other documents, I need to see things right in front of me. Video play. So all of these can be added at particular steps in your workflow uh, to help improve how you are going through different processes. Next step. No. Pause job. So let's say that's a long job and I, don't, I haven't got time to complete and finish all of that. Um, I can leave that now in my schedule. Navigate back. Navigate back. That will then say when I opened up show jobs, that will stay in there for me and I can go back and pick that up and I can continue that job and it will complete and end the report for me. And that's just a quick introduction to Workflow Plus running on your HMT, purposely designed for the realware devices.